out. Whoa, that's a rocky start. I don't even have the time to start talking. So I got a private message telling me where the lightning bolt was, and it is right here. So thank you. I don't remember who it was, but thanks for the advice. At least I won't have to spend 30 minutes looking for it. And yeah, I'm gonna finish exploring this area. And of course, those apples are most welcome. Ding, 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 ding. Makes a funny sound when you just press on the run button and you eat them all in quick succession. It's not as eerily satisfying as that huge row of assassins just begging for nasty king all the way back in level 15, but still. So in that room there were only two uh, first aid kits behind a bunch of fans, and of course since I'm I'm uh, at full energy right now, I'm not even gonna bother doing the slalom all around those fans. So here I completely forgot about these, but um, here we go, it's better late than never, so we're gonna explore what's in this area, but now that I have the lightning bolt, I suppose there's not, go not going to be much of interest. Oops, didn't have the time to shoot it, I killed it with my blue cloak. I hate killing stuff with blue cloaks because they don't give you any points, but oh well. Enemies are always better dead than alive, so it doesn't really matter how I kill them. Okay, what's over there? Well, aside from the pirates? Yeah, I keep shooting the, at those suspicious walls even though I was on the other side just a few moments ago because, well, it's not like there's gonna be a secret passage in there, but when you bust a shootable wall, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's worth 750 points. More than enemy, any enemy in the game, aside from those flying saucers that we beat only in the last four levels. So here, oh yeah, I remember this place. It's sort of an outdoor area to an indoor level, but as you can see, the graphics are really glitched because the game doesn't know what to do with it. Are we outdoors? Are we indoors? It's like freaking crazy, and even the game has trouble computing that. Because the thing is, aside from the eastern wall, which, well, I can understand there being none, but in at the north, south, and west, there are supposed to be material walls, but there aren't any. So you end up bumping into those invisible walls that are visible at the other end. So you saw once again the really glitch wall, and this is going to be the seventh and last section of the level, which I think it's the first time in the game that we see this sort of bedroom design. But yeah, lots of mummies, and it's really confusing. It's like there's three million dead ends that are each connected to extremely long hallways. If you look at the map, it lo looks like some sort of... You know when you pick up spaghetti with your fork but you haven't cut it down yet? That's what it looks like! A freaking mess! Okay, so yeah, a few upgrades, that's going to be nice, but the stairs are not this way, they are, if I remember, yeah, this way. That I came into that hallway to shoot a few enemies before, but that now I'm heading there to finish the level, so here we see more freaking dead ends where, well actually they, they connect to another hallway which leads to the exit. So yeah, killing those devils, and the stairs are right over there, you can see them from here. Well, maybe not because of the shoddy YouTube compression, but I I know I saw the stairs at the, at the end of that hallway. So yeah, I'm just, you know, getting lost in that spaghetti bedroom maze. So I'm thinking of names for these areas, like the Christmas tree Great balls. Job in level 22, but it's time for level 24, virtually real. As I said in the last video, this is an outdoor level that's focused on combat, so I'm going to have enemies coming at me from every possible angle. The hints file tells me that there are too many enemies to handle and I should use the blue cloaks as offense and not defense, and even the text at the beginning of this level tells me that the enemies vastly outnumber me, so I don't, 
I shouldn't spend too much time killing them. But if I don't kill them, they're gonna be still alive to shoot the crap out of me! That makes no sense! And, oh my god, is that a pool ball I see way over there? Yeah, I'm seeing a pool ball. Once again, maybe you aren't seeing it because of the lousy YouTube compression, but yeah, there's a pool ball rolling, and I shouldn't get too close to it, else it's going to start running after me. And after that, there's no telling. Oh, come on! Where did it come from? Where did that guy come from? He was like behind me, but I thought I'd killed everything that could come at me from that angle. So here, where's the pool ball? Oh, it's right there. So yeah, I'm gonna kill that assassin. And oh, here comes the pool ball. I need a hole. Where's the where's the hole? I want a hole. I want a freaking hole. And all that's coming at me are bats and pirates. And where's the hole? I'm supposed to send this down a hole! Oh, there's a hole! And, but first I gotta kill a few enemies, and... Yeah, it... No, fall down the hole! Fall down the hole! Okay, it, it went around the hole the first time, so... Yeah, this is going to be great. Not only are there tons of enemies, but there are eight balls up the ass as well! and the coin stash protected by a moving hole. It's worth noting that had I not bought those Ouch. two missiles... Ah! I have the freaking devil. I hate those things. Well, I hate everything that has the balls to come at me from behind, but yeah. At, had I not bought those missiles in level 16, I would have maxed out my money a long time ago, but right now I'm only 39 coins away from max... 38 now coins away from maxing out my money and maxed out money is useless if you don't do something with them because well if you pick up coins after you've reached 999 well they're not added to your total they're wasted they're completely wasted so if i happen to find um a soda machine in this level oh what's that is that a glitch a glitch i'm gonna load here oh Okay, there's something behind me, I get the point. But was that a glitch fan or something? It's not moving, there's no base to it. What is go- Ouch. Oh man, I loaded! I wanted to save, but I loaded! So yeah, I'm gonna kill that devil, that alien, and yeah, I'm gonna check out. Can I go through that fan? I'm gonna save just to make sure. Yeah, I can go through it, but it doesn't hide anything interesting. Uh, as far as my missiles could find out, maybe I could go through a, one of these walls without having to shoot it, but whatever. Now, as you've probably noticed, I'm clearing out the outside of the buildings first, since, from my recollection, that's where most enemies are. Okay, at least there are water fountains, so I can replenish my health if I ever feel down. Okay, nothing there. That's the kind of place that might actually have housed a secret passage, but the HOLY CRAP! Okay, let me try something. Oh. My. God. That is so awesome. I don't think I even took a single hit. Believe it or not, oh man, a pool ball, and once again, there's no hole in sight. So, oh yeah, there's one, but get out of the way, you stupid pirate! Well, at least I've got a gray cloak and more pool balls. Gotta make them all fall down before the cloak runs out, else I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Cloak's running out! Oh shit, oh shit, there's still one ball left, and get in! Get in! Come on! We're, we're both doing circles around the stupid hole! Get in the hole! In the hole! And I hear I'm sounding like one of those crazy fans that attend PGA tournaments. There's always some idiot who yells, IN THE HOLE! Even when the guy's like 600 yards away. But back to that awesome devil annihilation thing, well, what I did, because it happened so fast, what I did was basically I zigzagged all over the place while spamming my maxed out missiles like crazy, and yeah, I zigzagged so as to avoid as many hits as possible, but what I didn't expect was that I avoided them all! Well, as far as I can tell anyway, because I haven't heard any sound when I did it, 
And more pool balls. I'm a lot happier when these are all out of the way because you can't kill them with any kind of weaponry. Okay, next time.